What's happening guys, it's Bharat Naipal for iGain.in and we are back with another unboxing, uh, one of the most requested ones in the recent times. This is the Spice Stellar Craze. It's also known as the MI355 and um, runs on Android 2.3 gingerbread but it is upgradable to Android 4.0 as it says here on the box as well. Um, it does have a couple of interesting things and dual SIM capabilities uh, is what the most important aspect of uh, this uh, little phone from uh, Spice is. It is running a Snapdragon processor which is clocked at 800 megahertz. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox it. If you look on the side, or actually if you look up front here, it says swift, secure and sexy. I don't know what that means, but uh, according to Spice, the Stella has some unique security which uh, allows you to recover your data if it's lost or protects your phone from viruses, etc. So I don't know what that's all about, but let's go ahead and unbox it and see what all is in the box. So it appears that the box is already open, so I won't be needing my knife. That's a pity. I haven't used my knife in a long time. And I was looking forward to doing it today. Oh well. So the first thing inside the box is the Stellar Craze. I'm gonna put that aside for just a minute and try and pull this further out. The usual headphones, actually, these seem to be a little improved. We have in-ear style earphones, something similar to what we saw in Micromax boxes, uh, but you have in-ear style earphones with the uh, noise isolating sort of ear tips over here and uh, you do have an inline microphone and a push button to send and end calls. A standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is over here. Standard USB to micro USB cable. And the standard charger that we are sick and tired of looking at. I don't know why companies can't change their charger and make a high quality charger. These chargers don't last that long, but anyway, this is the standard charger along with the USB. Uh, it has an AC mains pin on one side and a USB on the other. So put that aside as well. And you have software installation CD. I don't know why you need this, but you have a software installation CD. You have the warranty card. You have a list of authorized service centers. And you have a user manual, uh, which is in color, nicely printed user manual explaining the features of the Stellar Cray. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a close look at the phone and uh, then we are going to try and turn it on. You have the earpiece along with a couple of sensors that you can see. You also have a front facing camera that appears to be right here. It's a 0.3 megapixel camera. Uh, the earpiece is over here. And then you have the display which is a 3.5 inch capacitive touchscreen display. Uh, you have four buttons at the bottom, the standard gingerbread style. So I'm guessing home, menu, back and a search button. Uh, this is also indicative of uh, their previous designs and also uh, indicative of the source of the phone. But anyway, talking about uh, nothing on the right, on the top you have a power lock and unlock button and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the left you have the volume rocker. On uh, the bottom you have a micro USB charging data syncing port along with a microphone pinhole and a tap to remove the back cover. On the back is a 5 megapixel camera. We don't know if it's autofocus yet. Uh, you do have dual LED flash, the Spice logo, the MI355 branding at the bottom, and the speakerphone over here. You can see it's a shiny, glossy white finish. And somehow, it is indicative of the design of the iPhone 3GS along with the iPhone 4. So it's a mixed design. So the back kind of looks like the 3GS. Uh, the sides kind of look like the iPhone 4 squarish front. Uh, quite identical to the iPhone 4, if I must say so myself. Uh, over here, if I just place them alongside, almost same, exactly same size, in fact, uh, displays and the same kind of colors and everything, the square display, the same design, and of course the silver band on the side, kind of indicative of the iPhone 4 uh, design, 4, 4S design. Let me take out the back cover. And uh, it's got a battery over here. Let me see what's the capacity. It is a 1420 milliampere hour battery. And uh, on the inside, you can see you have the dual SIM card slots over here and the micro SD card slot, which is over here. So let's see if we can power it on and take a quick look at the interface. 
So here we have it. It's uh, the Spice MI355. It's been turned on. You can see it's got stock gingerbread style uh, lock screen over here. Very responsive, in fact. Uh, you get your card information over here, your status bar is on the top, your date and time information. Uh, from the left, you can unlock the device. From the right, you can mute or unmute the device. Uh, quickly unlock it, and you can see the new calendar slash uh, date widget, which is over here. It is a Spice custom widget, so it gives you the day along with the date. And it also gives you the time. If you tap on that and you tap on this, it gives you the date. So you can select between both of them. Uh, so a bit of customizations. You can see it's a very fluid interface. So I've got five home screens on either side. There is no pinch out effect, uh, but hopefully, let me come back here. Hopefully I can tap someplace. So no, nowhere to quick jump. You, can, you just need to scroll left twice or right twice to jump to your favorite screen. So as with gingerbread, you can quickly add shortcuts, wallpapers, folders, and widgets. Uh, standard gingerbread style. On the top, you have some custom uh, toolkits over here, so it lets you quickly turn on Wi-Fi, uh, data, GPS, etc. You can scroll right to get some more things. You have NQ security suite installed, so that's probably the security thing uh, that Spice was talking about. And uh, you have no card, no card, and no SD card in there. That's the notification panel. Uh, let me quickly tap on this and look at the full application list. So a nice animation for the drawer pullout. Uh, you do start to see some lag there, but uh, you can see over here you have dual SIM settings. Once we put in a SIM card, I'll be able to access that. If I go into about phone over here, uh, you can see it's running Android 2.3.6 uh, with the possible upgrade or actually a promised upgrade by Spice to Android 4.0. So it says it's Android 4.0 ready and uh, Spice will ship out uh, Android 4.0 for this, so ice cream sandwich will definitely come to this phone. That's a surety. Now let me quickly jump into the dialer. We can look at the dialer. It's a nice and uh, nice design dialer. You can possibly initiate video calls. Again, we're not too sure of that. You can jump into your call logs, your phone book, etc. from here. Come back to the home screen. Uh, let's see messaging over here. Let's look at the keyboard. So standard stock Android keyboard, nothing special over there. Let's switch. Again, landscape keyboard is there as well. So fairly nice uh, keyboard. Looks pretty all right. Let me see if I can connect to Wi-Fi real quick and open up iGAN on this. So uh, we've got internet running on this. And uh, let's quickly open up our website. That's iGAN.in. And let's see how the browser performs uh, with basic functions. It loads up the full website, as you can see over there. So you can see it loads up the full website, uh, as you can see over here. You can pinch to zoom in, but it's not very smooth. It has a lot of lag over there, you can see. Uh, it's kind of struggling to re-render. But it does load up the full website. Let me see if I can scroll. Come on, come on. So yeah, uh, I was pressing on the buttons over there. So you can scroll over here. You can see scrolling is pretty smooth. Uh, better than uh, pinching to zoom in. And uh, you can switch from portrait to landscape as well. Again, scrolling exists. Uh, pinching and zooming in has become better a little bit. But again, uh, like I said, using these buttons is better than pinching and zooming in. So that's the internet browser on uh, the device. Uh, let me quickly power up the camera and see if it's an autofocus camera. So. I need to put in an SD card before I can actually click a picture. But I don't think it's an autofocus camera because it's not really focusing. It's a fixed focus camera. So uh, that, again, might be a disappointment for some people. But I'm not too sure about that. Uh, I will test it out fully and give you a full in-depth review of the Spice MI355. So stay tuned for that. So if you have any questions or queries regarding this product, please do leave them in the comment section below or on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash igan, youtube.com slash igan tv. And until I see you next time, guys, this is Bharat Nagpal checking out the new Spice MI355. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.